Hey guys. Be with you in a second. Okay, so we're going to do we're going to do a Dominic's. Uh, we're going to do a level falls in a Dominic's Navy issue. In fact, let me just take you back to that screen I was at just then. So before before we start, I think you uh, I think I was talking about this in the in one of my other videos. So this is the mission reports, and this is an amazing tool. Everything for missions, near enough. You can find. I'd say probably 95% of what you need here and as you can see on on the uh, on the page you've got near enough every mission you can think of for every level one two three four even fives um, so when you get your mission and if we look at if we look at mine, she's been given a mission. I've just taken a mission on it, accepted it. So the mission is the score. So if we went to this, uh, went to the guide, and we went down to the score. Somewhere here. And it's Sanchez Nation uh, that, that, I've, that I've been given. I mean, I know that's the MN Thermal all round. If you do, just to double check, you can go here, have a look. Uh, you've got EM and thermal. That's damage to resist and damage to deal. So it's both, you know, both and both. Sometimes it can change. Sometimes it's you need an omni tank, uh, depending on what you're doing. And you can see below there you've got videos. Um, it's been done in a Macarial, a sniper maelstrom, a Kaldari Navy Raven, a Sentry. I might actually do that. I might do that. Uh, Sentry Dominics which is what we're doing today, and a Gila. Of course, the Gila gets his um, maiden drone bonuses. So looking at this, you, you've got um, an area here where it says Blitz, where you can actually Blitz it if you're wanting to just pummel away and get your, uh, get your loyalty points and just not bother about earning the, the, um, the bounties off the ships. Uh, I'm not too fussed to me. I'll just, I'll just get the bounties and get the loyalty points, but it takes a bit longer. But whatever you, you, however you want to play it, that's fine. So that's your blitz. Clear first room, clear second room, kill a battleship in the final room. Uh, the Centus Law uh, Plague, Centus Plague Lord, if present. Otherwise, the furthest battleship. Um, once you get used to these, you'll know, guys, and you can fly in, do what you know, blitz it if you want. Uh, then it gives you the breakdown of what's going to happen. So the first pocket will be this lot. The next lot um, will be this lot. There's no aggro when you warp in. Attacking group three, group, group three will aggro the entire pocket. So what's group three? <laughs> You'll have to. You have to. It's, that's what you have to work out. But it's a very good. Um, very good uh, tool this and then at the bottom it'll tell you what you're getting bounties what the loot's worth and what the salvage is worth and even <laughs> even for the miners <laughs> it'll tell you what there is in in asteroids in each pocket crazy so um, yeah so very very good tool i'll put the link in the uh, description guys um, but that's one that's a keep that's a keeper for sure okay so i'll knock that back to them we'll go we'll go back to this so i've already accepted the mission so I'll just have a quick look at the ship so i'll just quickly set this up and i've gone <clears throat> I've gone for a... I've, with this, I always do sniping. I don't want to get up close and personal. So I want to get in position, at good range, snipe with wardens. And if they do start, which they will, they will get on top of you. Um, if they do start making their way, I usually leave them. If they get within 
50 kilometers I'll use this I'll turn the other way other direction and jump 100 so I'm 150 away again drop my drones yeah so I always stay near my if the sentries I'm using I always stay near the sentries just orbit the sentries at 1000 so they're in range so you can just scoop them turn around micro jump drop and start killing again this takes longer you'll see you'll see what I mean it does take longer you can see how many I've got here drone damage amplifiers all those give us 690 so 700 DPS um, Again, we will see how we go because the drones we're going to use are not the Caldara Navy Wardens that I tend to use because they're kinetic damage. They're going to be the curators, the sentries, and their EM. So we'll see how we go. If I have to pull the ship out, I will. Uh, and then we'll we'll jump into probably the tango or something and just finish off but i just want to show you what you can do if you keep on your toes if you like to be i like to be kept on my toes i like to keep i like to think about the game what i'm doing where i am position wise and keep moving keep moving just it just it's more interesting for me i don't know how you guys want to play your game but that's how i like it so anyway let's uh without further ado uh, let's just double check i've got everything I've got my drones, I've got my Harpy as the escape ship, I've got my drones, Imperial Navy cu uh, Curators, Imperial Navy Infiltrators, they're my mediums, and the Praetors. Oh. Uh, okay, I was going to get Faction. Never mind, we'll use those, I'll, I will get some, I will get some Faction. In fact, I thought I bought some. Uh, never mind. So we'll use those for now. I only use those if I need to, if I really, really need to, because obviously the mediums of close-up and personal. If some lights get through, then you've got something. When they're on top of you, you've got something that will kill them, uh, and you can still get away then. So anyway, without further ado, let's go. And we are going to Rufus next door. Some dock. So on here, on the uh, on the top, while we're warping, I'll show you. We've got uh, drone amplifier uh, augmenters. Sorry, uh, drone link or, um, augmenters. Type Tech Two. I've got a little tractor beam just in case I do need to drag someone's wreck with a nice juicy uh, loot in it, and that gives me a range of what twenty four. Yeah. Um, so I've got the. This is purely sniping the ship with drones. That's all it is. I've got an armor t armor repairer there, just just as a backup, just to get me out of out of the poo. Uh, again, three omnidirectionals, the large micro jump drive, a sensor booster, and the 500 mn micro warp drive two uh, rigs, large capacity control one. Uh, I've got all ones, all t all tech ones. I don't think I put tech twos on that. Uh, this damage control, I have literally just mutated it. And if you can look on the whole damage resistances, look at it gave me. 45% and 45% on thermal as well, EM and thermal. Not so good on uh, explosive, but kinetic 42. So that's, that's a good... Um, mutation on it it was a tech 2 damage control don't know what that would be worth on the market maybe someone knows out there give me a shout <laughs> i've got a few anyway so we're here we're here let's go to the mission we're warping through drive. we're warping okay. through gates i think so what i would tend to do is uh when i walk through the gates i will then find uh, a point where i need to micro jump drive out and don't forget the cooling down period is quite it's quite lengthy the cooling down is reactivation delay 180 seconds 
Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. So, um, you have to keep your eye on that and watch the cool down period and before it's ready again. So, let's just see how we go. It's, I, I can't see this being. No, it's only 4,000 light tippants, so it's not going to be anything. Let's get everything working that needs to be working and let's warp. Warp drive active. Never been a huge fan of these ships, just but they are a, many, many, many moons ago. The Dom, oh, I'm bouncing off the gate. The Dominics was an awesome drone boat. They used to nano it, uh, nano Dominics. Amazing boat, but obviously it's been nerfed many a time. But they're quite bulbous and bulky, and Galente, Galente is not my favourite. No, anyway, we'll see what she does here. So let's um, let's turn around so you can see the gate. So I like to at the end of this mission, this this pot, this room, I will then get about a hundred away from the gate, so I can turn micro jump drive a hundred, bang on it, and then warp into the next room. Which makes things a bit easier. So let's have a look what there is. So you, I've 180. I've done a 180, and now I'm going to uh, micro jump drive. Right. Then I'm going to stop. Just let my speed drop. To a crawl, and then I can drop the uh, curators. I don't know what these are going to be like as far as range. Like I said, I've not used these for a long, long time. So let's just let's just launch the drones. Okay. Right. Let's um. Let's just see what we got. I'm going to lock one of the little ones as well. Right, see what the drones do at this range. So, that's not brilliant. <laughs> They're missing. So, I will let them crawl if they're going to crawl to us. Are they going to move? I'm not, they're not even aggroed. Let's try one of the little ones. This is why I like to use the Kaldari Navy Wardens. Right, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to come in a bit. Let's, uh, let's bring them in. Let's bring them in. We're going to micro warp drive. There we go. We're getting aggro now, so they will start coming in. That's why I like to do it in the Tengu, because it's a lot quicker. You just rip through them. You're not doing all this moving around. But for a change of pace, why not? Okay. And these curators usually work around about the 90 mark. If I remember rightly. So I'll just slow him down and I'll drop the curators in a minute. <clears throat> so these are starting to... starting to crawl towards me, so... Uh, but... Like I say, the, uh, the Kadara Navy Wardens, 150, 160, and they're hitting and doing damage. Right, let's launch the drones. Let's try that on this, on this tiddler. Let's try the drones on them. Thank you. 
Right, so I'm gonna try something else. Oh, finally! Jesus, took long enough, didn't it? Like I said, it's usually around about the 90 mark they start hitting. Let's try that one. We just have to let them get closer, I'm afraid. Which is not the best. They're not enjoying this. And now they start to shoot the drones. So I'm going to pull the drones in. And I'm going to drop the heavies. And we're going to move. Because we've got nearly all the aggro. So I can, I'll do a 180 about turn, and we'll see if we can just let the drones do their thing. And then we'll just move them on to the next and on to the next, so we have to be very selective now. Keep Try and keep them as close, keep them on the move as well, because they will, they will die. They're just sat still. Next. Not bad for Tech 2. I like the um, faction drones because they are they're more robust. They can take a pounding. So you've got to keep your eye on your drones because they can die very quickly. If they're left idle, they've got to keep them moving, keep them spinning around the enemy. to that one. So we're at range, so I'm going to warp it where we are. So I'm just going to keep my transversal up. My range on the drones is a hundred and 80 kilometers, so we're, we're good there. We just might need to move in, of course, on the others, unless they move in. See, I've got one drone there getting damage. So I could lose it. You really do have to keep them on the move. It's like when you, you're using fighters in null sec to, to do the anomalies. You can lose fighters very quickly and they're not cheap. So this drone's repping already, so he's, he's yeah, he's, the aggro's off him. They're doing uh, pretty well, these heavies. I'm impressed. They really are killing them. Quickly as well. See, so another one's getting damaged now. From here. I need to send them to him straight away. I see him. You can see him hitting this. <clears throat> So 
sweet. So I'm just getting now into range so I can micro jump drive to the gate at uh, just about 102. And I'll let those kill the last uh, nightmare. They're doing some decent damage. That's uh, brilliant. 700 DPS just from uh, the drones. Have I got some spare? Yeah, I've got some spare, that's good. Right, so I'll call those in. How far away are they? No, they're close enough. I was going to say I'll jump to the gate and call them in, but they're, they're here now anyway. And we'll micro jump drive to the gate. Actually, no, we won't. I need that, so we're going to burn. We're going to burn because the next room I'll need to 180 and micro jump drive. So this is um, not good. Going to wait forever to get that. <clears throat> I mean, we're doing over a thousand MS. <clears throat> it won't take us too long to get there. And like I said, when the Tengu would be, would have been done through the gate now. Sorry, I'm not sure. Oh. Thank you, Alexa. Whatever that was about. Okay. The thing is, I could drop my drones and jump out, micro jump drive. But if they start getting hit, which they will, I'll lose them. So it's like, <laughs> is it worth it? Active. Well, in my eyes, no. That's why I use my Tango. What do I lose? Ammo. That's it. I think I might do um, another one with Fozzy Ran and Anita in a uh, Macarial, and I'll get that. I'll get that fitted long range. Well, fourteen hundred um, guns on it. So here we are again. I'm going to go a little bit. Turn around, but I'm not going to go as far. Let's just see. Now, I don't know which group is which, but we'll try. We'll try those on the gate first. So I'll I'll stop about here. <clears throat> And I'll drop my sentries again. We're a lot closer. Uh, 
I will try again. Ah, oh, they're too far. Let's just do these that are close. Okay, let's try and on this. One's in. No aggro yet. So straight away one of the drones is getting hit. But these are a lot tougher, these sentry drones. They can take a pounding. Stretch that up a bit. But they're not hitting as good as the Praetors. So we'll scoop them up. It's not improving. So we're going to scoop them up. I'm going to drop the uh, Praetors again. Send in the heavies. So we're getting aggro now. So I'm pointing the right way. So if I need to, I'll just, I'll just jump from here. Let the Praetors do their work. There we go. Bang, straight in. Next. So if they were faction praetors, they'd be um, they'd be pretty tough. But they're only tech two, so you don't mind losing tech twos. They're not they're not that expensive. I've got quite a few in the drone bay. They're splitting now. They're getting cocky. <sighs> Gotta get this one, because he is attacking. Come on, boys. into uh, both are into armor all right now he started moving I'll leave those battleships for now. They're not aggroed yet. They might do on this. When I aggro this group. Come on, boys. They're, slow. They're so slow. They're, uh, they're heavies. <laughs> They do a hit when they get there. They pack a punch.
Okay. Right, the they're hitting the creators now. Sons of bitches. They're gonna kill him. Just keep moving. Let's see what they're doing. Yeah, look at that one, he's getting really he's getting hit hard. Right, kill that one. Okay, let's have a look. He's bouncing off a an asteroid. And there you go, standings decreased by uh, Sanchez Nation. They don't don't like me now. So look at the hammer this one's getting. And he's... I've not lost one yet. I thought I might have lost one to these three. Well, as long as they keep moving, you, as long as you keep your drones moving. It's that uh, transition from when they kill one and they move on to the next one. That's where they're vulnerable. Him. But because these are heavies, they uh, can't move super fast, you know, like the lights, but we don't get the damage then, do we? From the lights. Okay, last one. Let's look at that one. Suppose I could have a large remote armor wrapper on the uh, instead of that tractor beam just to rep the drones. There you go. There's a thought. Okay, so we need to get to the uh, gate. I should have made my way in instead of watching the drones kill him. Come on, slow coaches. <clears throat> but none of them have uh, none of them got any um, hull damage. Okay. Like I say, I'm not going to uh, use a micro jump drive because I will need it or may need it in the next room. It's a lump, the ship. It's a really chubby little lump. But it does have its... Um, it does have its... Uh, I won't say good looks, but it has something about it. Its own new, unique way, shall I say. Okay. Should we try the centres from here? 
try them again from here. Let's try that little group. You never know. Insta popped. <clears throat> That's the limit really for these drones then, yeah. Might do another with, even though, yeah, I'll do it with the wardens when it's um, it, when it's kinetic and thermal. You'll see the difference. The wardens are just amazing. So you just have to pick and choose your uh, your missions, then, won't you? That's good damage. That is really good damage. And like I say, I've got the jump drive there. If I do get in into a bit of difficulty with the ship, because she's no really no tank, she's just got the the damage control and uh, and the armor repairer. They're just. You know, just to get me out, get me out modules. Okay, I think this is the, it's the last room. I want to see how they hit the uh, the big ones. That centers. Ah, that might have something. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna scoop them up and drop the uh, creators again. They can finish them off. I'll sit the Dominics here and just uh, let them go from. While they're going, I'm just going to have a look at that uh, mission the score. I don't think there was anything juicy. No, there wasn't. I thought they might drop something, but no. Okay. Like I say, that um, mission report, guys, that is the most important thing. Just have it on another screen or have it on open somewhere, you know, where you can just quickly flick to it. Just to give you um, an overall uh, sort of briefing on, on the whole thing. You know what to expect then. You're not going in blind. Go on, boys. They're taking the time. That damage guys, sweet. Let's have a look. Ah, the old spiky butt plug. <laughs> As one of my old corpers used to call these Sanchez. Uh, certainly the um, the succubus and the other I can't remember what it's called now they used to call them spiky butt plug but hey the nightmare well not my favourite looking ship goodbye nightmare I'll call the drones back Okay, and the mission should be done. There you go, so that's one mission, that's the score. Remind me never to do that again. <laughs> uh, 
study. <laughs> it's the e EM and thermal. That's the thing. If I've got kinetic and uh, and thermal, then the um, the wardens, the Caldari Navy warden sentries. I'll I will show you another mission with those on, because they really do rip through ships. Warp drive active. Never been able to get the curators work unless I'm right. On, well, you saw how far away I was with this lot. Right, so that's a dummy. Like I said, I might do... Um, you know what? I might even look at a maelstrom. Sniping maelstrom. That'll be done by Fozzy rather than an eater. Uh, also, I will look at a Macarial. I'll put Fozzy in a Macarial and the maelstrom. And I'll put a Nita in a Kaldari Navy Raven. And we'll just do the missions in each one of those, just testing them. The I know the Caldari, I've done them in the, the Raven, the Caldari Navy Raven. Uh, and you just do it at range. You waste so much ammo though. Because I warp her in, I used to warp her in at like 180 and keep her around there. Um, she's got perfect uh, missile skills. So she, she can hit to about 240 kilometers. Uh, with crews. So what am I doing? Um, but the thing is, you've got to gauge it then. So when you're, say, you're hitting a battleship and you're in halfway through his armour, and you've got a 240 kilometre distance between you and the and the uh, and the rat, you've got to cut off your missiles launchers at that point because you've got so many queuing up running down to it you know so you've just to try and uh if you're not bothered about your ammo then not bother about your ammo if you're not f firing faction ammo which i never do i just use uh caldari um sorry scourge just scourge crews uh i did do a top i did do a top setup once on a on a raven that worked pretty well, but again, you're up close and personal with Torps. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Okay, so that was that. Let's just complete that mission. Sweet. Not too many. Let's see how many... Uh, see how many loyalty points I've got now. And I've not been doing that many missions, but 211,000 loyalty points. So I do, I do like this. This is great. I mean, I just buy, I tend to buy these, these, um, you know, the, what's let's have a look at that. It's a plus five. Uh, so I'll buy, uh, for 65,000 loyalty points. So I'll wait until, uh, which I can, I can buy two or three and I'll just, I buy them and sell them uh, on uh, in Jitter. Uh, the market, 130 million. They've cost me 62, 65 million. So you sell three, you're making a decent little profit on that. So it all adds up. And uh, yeah, uh, of course, if you have a look on on here, you can you can get what you want if you want them for you. I've bought a load of these. Uh, for Anita, if you look at her, look at her augmentations. So she's only got plus, she's only got plus fours in, yeah. She's only got plus fours in, uh, but the rest are all five percenters. If you have a look, they are all ending in five. So acceleration control. She's got nothing really to um, improve her. Let's say. The the end, you know, like your your <clears throat> your power grid, your CPU, and things like that on the ship. She hasn't she hasn't really got that. If you look at that five percent bonus to afterburner, micro drive, micro warp drive speed, that's all that is. The snapshot, that's the heavy assault heavy assault missiles because I have a in a Tengu most of the time. 
Uh, so that's really irrelevant for this uh, with the drones. I suppose I could. I'm not going to rip it out. <laughs> I don't know how much they are. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, I can't remember, but I know it's not cheap. Um, the long range targeting. So 5% bonus to max targeting range. See if I can see the price on that. No. And then shield operation. Again, I've, she's not been on this certain mission. She's not been reliant on all these, any of these, because she's not using. She's in an armor tank ship. Well, she's used. She's in a ship that's got a um, an armor repair on. That's about it. Um, rapid launch. So none of those really. Apart from the long range and the acceleration control were benefiting that Dominix. But if I got into the Tengu, that would come into it. Uh, that would come into it. That would they'd all come into it. So the, these were put in. It's a shame you can't just unplug them uh, and save them rather than destroy them and then plug in new ones. I'm sure CCP had uh, had the idea. Make more money, don't they? <laughs> so yeah, so that's it. That's uh, all she's got, and she has got nothing really to help her with um, with CPU management and and power grid management and all this lot. That's just skills. So you can see she's got 137,000, uh, 137 million skill points. Plus he's got more, he's got about 100, 180. Um but that just as you as you guys know it just comes with time. So that's all it is. Or or if you've got plenty of money, it comes with uh, skill injectors. <laughs> yeah, so that's a loyalty point store, brilliant. You want stuff for you, you know your uh, character's head you know any, any implants they're all there look 79 million shield operation um, so you, you know that's going to be about 140 million on the market sweet right so uh, I'm going to call it a call it a day for now guys I will be back on uh, probably tomorrow uh, we'll do another few missions in the Dominic's and then I'll be on later on again, um, probably in um, probably in the Caldari Navy Raven. I might look at that, and then we'll look. I'll look at getting Fozzie sorted for later on in the week, getting him in a Macarial and a Maelstrom, sniping Maelstrom. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thanks for thanks for tuning in, as they say. But uh, don't forget to subscribe and like if you did like it any comments guys gladly put them in the comments and I'll put the link for I'll put the link for this um, in the in the com in the uh, description so that's mission reports that's the uh, UniWiki brilliant little tool I've used this for years it's been absolutely amazing Oh, it's always helped me through uh, level, you know, level fours. Well, all of them. Okay. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again, guys. Take care.